Hi, my name's Lynn Condell and I work in JMU in the student advice team and my job is uh, related to student funding. I'm the student funds manager so we give advice and guidance about a range of student funding. If you're from a lower income household you will get more free money, more grants and bursaries than if you're from a higher income household. Um, if you're from a low-income household, you would get the maximum grant that's available. So in 2013, the figure for England is £3,354 per year uh, in grant. And, and that income is £25,000. So if your household income is 25000 or less, you'd get the maximum grant. Um, also, if you're from a low-income family, you, you would get other funding from the university. So. JMU has got um, a bursary of £500 a year, so if you're on a three-year course, that's £1,500 over the three years. You get £500 a year, and that, that's given to you free uh, for you to do whatever you want with. You know, you can use it for books or travel or whatever you want to use that in. Uh, the other initiative for students from low-income families is the National Scholarship Programme. So at JMU, um, you would need to have a household income of 16,000 or less. And we're also looking for students with um, around 280 UCAS points from um, the three units at A2 level. So A2 level, that, that could be BTEC. But also if you're coming to university, maybe if you're a mature student, you're coming from an access course. Although they don't have UCAS points attached, we would look at other evidence. So um, maybe you, um, you could get a reference from your tutor. Um, so the National Scholarship Programme is worth £3,000, so that's a great initiative. Um, and you get £2,000 off your fees and you'd get £1,000 cash. And it's just for your first year. So, for example, in your first year, your tuition fee would be reduced to £7,000. You would get £1,000 cash and you would get the government statutory package, so the grants that you were eligible for and any loans that you wanted to take out. So that's quite a generous first year package of support. Any, anything with the word grant or bursary or scholarship in the title is given, is given to you basically, it's free money so you don't have to pay any of it back. If you think about it, um, it sounds obvious but I know there's all these words that are quite confusing, anything with the word loan in the title you pay back at some point in your life but if it says bursary, scholarship, grant then it's free so it's given to you. Quite a lot of students say, well, how do I get my hands on this bursary? Uh, you don't have to apply for it, it's given to you automatically. So what happens is, when you apply for your student finance on DirectGov, we get the details of your household income. So we get that automatically and we know, oh yes, your household income is below 25,000 and we will just pay you the 500 pounds. And we'll pay it into your bank, uh, usually around about the February after you've started. So you start in September 2013, that would be February 2014. So you've done your first term and it's like an incentive for getting through the first term. Um, at the moment we're planning to have an application process for the National Scholarship Scheme here at JMU, uh, primarily just so that we can manage the numbers and we also think we might be able to identify students that would qualify for other scholarships that we have. We've got a fantastic range of our own scholarships as well as the National Scholarship. So what we've decided to do is we've got an application form and if you fill that in, we will consider you for all of our scholarships, the National Scholarship um, Scheme included. So don't be put off because it's a form, and I know a lot of people don't like filling forms in. Um, and it does ask you for a reference, maybe from your tutor or your sports coach, if you've got one. Um, don't be put off, it's, it's not too onerous a task, task, and it is free money, so make sure you apply. Um, you can download the form from our website and um, that will probably be around about the January 2013, they should be on the website um, and we'll also be sending that in the applicant pack so when you get the information about um, your accommodation there'll be a form in there as well. If people want more advice, because obviously, um, you know, this is a lot of information to take in, then uh, you could have the first point of call maybe should be the direct.gov website, uh, direct.gov fees and funding, 
or uh, we're more than happy to talk to people uh, before they come to university while they're here, sometimes even after graduation. You know, uh, our contact details will appear on the screen apparently by magic. <laughs>